at this. Would you believe it's a hospital? It's gorgeous. And it's slap bang in the middle of London. Now, I have been sent here in the middle of the night to try and find electricity. Now, where do I start? You. Yeah, do you work here? Yes, I'm Sheila Taylor. I'm one of the nurses here. Oh, right. Well, I'm looking for electricity. You're looking for electricity? Yes. Well, it's all around you. Hmm? I mean, the lights for a start. Oh, the lights, yeah. And then you've got the heating. The heating? The lifts. The lift. Of course. And the escalators. Yes. I mean, it's everywhere when you really look at it. You are right. So it must be very important. It is. And it's actually your challenge to find out how important it is in people's lives. Oh, yes. how? Well, I've actually got an installation job that I need a hand with. Come along. Installation? Cool. That's what I was telling you. Arriving at the fifth floor. I'll tell you, this is a good way to start carrying a fridge. Oh, come on. Oh, watch yourself there. Yeah, will do. Now, where are you going to want this? Just over there. Oh. Right, well, watch me back. Watch my fingers. <laughs> no. Cross your fingers in a hospital. Brilliant. All oh, right, is that it then? Plug. Oh, yes. Sorry. Excellent. Plug it in. Why do you need a fridge in a hospital? We need it to store drugs in. Oh, right. Just put it in. Is this like a fridge I've got at home? Yeah, it's exactly the same, except that the temperature's just a bit more accurate, really. Just check the cell my date. Oh, yes, that's all right. I tell you, this is a piece of cake. Well, it hasn't finished yet. Oh. Actually, I've got another little job for you, and that's oh, downstairs. Lovely. What Steve doesn't know is the next fridge he installs will be in Africa. station makes or generates electricity, usually by burning a fuel like coal or gas. A single power station generates electricity for many thousands of homes, offices and factories. The network of pylons and cables which distribute electricity is called the national grid. Electricity which comes to our homes like this is called mains electricity. Imagine if this hospital lost its supply of mains electricity. Like in a power cut, for instance. Not only would we be plunged into darkness, but we rely on electricity for so many different things. There are babies in incubators which keep them warm. They need electricity. Up in theatres, we need theatre lights, operating lights. That needs electricity. On the wards, we have pumps which give drugs at a particular rate. These need electricity. In intensive care, they use machines to actually keep people alive. So if we lost our electricity, it could actually be a matter of life or death. But believe it or not, that's exactly what Steve is about to do, to give this hospital a power cut as a test of the emergency backup supply. Well, there it is, Steve. Yeah, great. Right, well, Steve, what I'd actually like you to do is to just push that switch down, which says trip. Well, what, what will happen? Well, what it will actually do is it will turn off the main supply to the entire hospital. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I won't get into trouble if I switch that off. No, no, the professionals are here. So, uh, what happens if all the electricity goes off to the hospital? Well, what will happen is the emergency generators will actually cut in, so the essential electrical supplies will still go on. 
Right, so all I gotta do is press this switch and the generator's cut in. Yeah. Right, I'm cross <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> As expected, the backup generator starts up. It produces electricity to supply all the vital services, like ward equipment. So the patients sleep on in safety, totally unaware of Steve's power cut. Right, this should be about it. Oh, yes! Lights and bows are way off my mind, you know. I'm glad this is all over and done with. Well, it's not quite over yet, Steve. I've got another job for you. Mm -hmm. Another fridge to install. Oh, great. I'm mean, good at installing fridges, you know. Where do you want it? Well, actually, it's in a health centre in the community in Zambia. Where? Zambia. Zambia? Yes. Where is Zambia? In Africa, Zambia. But this fridge hasn't got a plug. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Zambia, here I come. Zambia is a country in Africa. It's about twice as big as Britain. The capital city of Zambia is called Lusaka. All oh, right. Well, here I am in Lusaka, and this depot is my starting point. Now, I've been told that my fridge is among this lot here, but there are hundreds of them, so I'm going to need a bit of help. I've been told to find a man called Fred. Fred? Fred. Oh, yes, Steve. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah. Hello, I'm oh, Steve. Come on, your hand. Oh, dear. Oh, come up there. Take it easy. So, what's going on here? Oh, well, I've got a project to install 200 fridges in rural health centers throughout Zambia, and there uh, your fridge is among these. So where are these fridges? All are? these fridges are ready for health centers across Zambia. All right, so, uh, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be helping yeah. install one of these fridges. Yes, yours will be the first one here. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, uh, what I've got to tell you, Fred, is that I'm a yeah. bit of an expert on installing fridges because I've had sure. some training in London. Okay, see. great. You should see that. <laughs> <laughs> so which one do we start with? One over here? Yeah. Uh. Uh. Left a bit. Ooh. Uh. It's squashing me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. It's just a food, man. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> right, let's get okay. going. Yeah. Lusaka has mains electricity. Just like in Britain, the electricity is distributed by cables in a grid system. But most of Zambia is quite different. Out here in the countryside, there's no national grid, and often, no electricity at all. Oh, this is it. Chang Ch 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 Rural Health Centre. Yeah. Well, if you look to your right here, yeah. you'll be able to see the Rural Health Centre. This blue one here? Yes, yeah. that's it. That's it. Hope we can find some people waiting for us. Well, hopefully. <laughs> it's taken us almost two hours to get here. Hello, I'm Steve Johnson. My name? How are you? How are you? I don't know your name, eh? I'm Mrs. Zulu. Mrs. Zulu. I'm the CEO in charge of this clinic. This is welcome to the clinic. Uh, Thank you. You can just come. Okay. By the way, what have you brought for us? Oh, I've got a very big fridge. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fridge? Yes. Wonderful. This is our screening room. This is where we examine our patients. So All the examinations are done here. So this is where they come into first? Yeah? Yes. And then there's another room here. 
you know we do our dispensary. We issue all the drugs to our patients. And this side, this is where we do our dressings. And this is where we give our injections. Uh, now, I'm, I'm a bit concerned here because I, I was told I got to bring this plug from England. Now, I'm looking around. I can't see any plug points. So how am I going to plug the fridge in? Oh, unfortunately, there's no electricity here. <laughs> there's no electricity in Kenya. No, well, I've got a fridge with no electricity. Well, um, well what am I going to do with this then? Living without electricity means a lot of jobs have to be done by hand. And as the evening approaches, you really start to notice the difference. Let's take a look indoors with someone who lives here. This is a modern house in rural Zambia. Come in. I haven't got electricity. I use paraffin for my light, and I use candle, and I use battery, car battery, to power my record player. And I had the studio. I use small batteries to operate my radio cassette. In Britain, too, there are some houses without electricity. This house has gas lamps and candles for lighting, and a coal-burning stove for heating and cooking. Daylight reveals that this house is completely isolated, perched high on the cliffs of Lundy Island. Lundy lies 12 miles off the North Devon coast. Because it's surrounded by sea, it's too difficult to connect to the national grid. But in Lundy's small village, they make their own electricity. Here. This generator produces electricity. To make electricity, you need a source of energy, for example, a fuel like diesel. Electricity is produced by burning the diesel. But diesel is expensive and it could run out, especially if too much electricity is used. Using coal fires for heating saves electricity. But as midnight approaches, another fuel-saving measure is applied. Back in Zambia, there's a source of energy which won't run out. Solar panels can use the energy of the sun to make electricity. Here we are going to demonstrate that when sunlight hits the solar panels, we produce electricity that goes straight to a power, for example, a light. To show that this is happening instantly, if we cover the panel with a blanket, the light will go off. And if we take off the blanket, you can see the sun convert it again into electricity and pass the light again. Oh, I've just flown 5,000 miles to carry another fridge. The energy of the sun will produce electricity to power both the fridge and lights. That's energy from the sun to convert it into electricity. So the, 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 the energy of the sun, that's the sunlight, yeah? Yeah. Converts to electricity? To electricity, yes. And that's just to power the fridge. Oh, that's not bad, is it? From solar power? Yeah. So the sun yeah, is going to make the electricity for the fridge? That's what you're saying? Yes, that's right. Is it 
Yeah, it is easy as that. Simple. Doesn't blow away then. Blood free. That's it. That's it. The three panels are connected together for the fridge. Right. And the junction box here is for the fridge panels. And the junction box for the light panels is here. So, so, the, so the cables go in there the and they right. carry the electricity from the panels That's right. down, to the, down to the fridge. The cables are also connected to large batteries which store electricity. So the electricity goes into a battery. In the battery, yes. And a battery stores electricity. So that's what it is, yes. And then you can use it. You can use it at, at night. At no, night. Yes. Ah, I see. Because I wondered, because it's a solar panel, yeah. what happens when the sun goes down? Well, yeah, that's it. When the, the sun battery. goes down, the batteries come into play. Right. So this just goes in. Does it go inside again? Okay. Straight on. All right. And just turn it. Well, hopefully this should work. On and off. I see. <laughs> hey, not bad. Not bad. Right. Well, we've got some yeah. light in here. Right. Nice fridge. This fridge has been running um, for a while. Yeah, it's not been on for a while. We can check the temperature. Yeah, they have, have stabilised. That's the compartment for the in the back. So this this is right now. This fridge yeah. is running right. Yeah. What sort of things are we putting in here? That is measles vaccine. Let's go down here. Yes. And this is polio vaccine. Polio. Oh, oh, no, I've had one of these actually. <laughs> I know how painful they are. Fred, what's, how long is this freezer going to last? Do you reckon? The freezer should be we're expecting something like 20 years. 20 years. Yes, yeah, 20 years. Yes. Yeah. So it's going to benefit this community of 15,000 for 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. That is fantastic. It's really wonderful. This is really wonderful. Is it good? Yes, please. Are you very pleased? <laughs> very pleased. We are very grateful and very pleased. Because we shall store the vaccines. We will no longer travel for 30 kilometers going to collect vaccines for each session. You can imagine. I must admit, I'm pretty impressed that from the energy of the sun shining onto those panels, it could produce enough electricity not only to, to, to light this building, but to supply a fridge which is going to save people's lives. It's Fantastic. Wherever you are in Zambia, there's always plenty of sunshine. So out here in the remote countryside, it's a cheap, practical way of making electricity. And of course, the sun won't run out. <laughs> that was a good day's work. Using the energy of the sun to power a fridge. Brilliant. I'll tell you what, though. I'm worn out now. Oh, mm. Mm. oh God. what's that? 